Now to this next story, an example of how Queen 6 is watching out for you. It's been three weeks since that snow and ice storm caused so much damage in our area, and one local family still doesn't have running water. Can you believe that? Tonight, our Lindsay Nadritz looking into the other problems keeping that family from getting their life back to normal. Lindsay? Well, it has been a rough three weeks for them. A large tree came crashing down during the storm, leaving them with no running water and a dispute over who's responsible. And it just really has been a hardship and I believe it's a health and safety issue at this point because I can't keep my family safe or healthy. Julie Waterman says her family is at a breaking point. They've had to fill up jugs of water to do dishes and use the bathroom. She and her 77 year old father, who she takes care of, have been staying at a hotel while her son has been staying at home with their animals. It's been very discouraging because there's no solution to me getting water within a short period of time. When this huge tree fell during the storm, it took out a power pole and the water line to Julie's home. City crews wouldn't remove the roots and stump because it's on private property that belongs to Julie's neighbor. And they basically said the tree is your neighbor's property. He needs to remove the tree so that you can access and you can fix your water. I checked with Oak Lodge Water Services and found out it is Julie's responsibility to fix the water line. However, she says she can't do that until the rest of the tree on her neighbor's property is removed. Julie's neighbor told me he gave her permission to access his property to fix her water line. In an email he sent her, he said, if I choose to remove the stumps at some future date, it would be done as I have time in my busy schedule. Well, I also talked to Clackamas County today. They told me homeowners are generally responsible for what happens on their property, including what falls on their property. There may be different circumstances where that's not the case, but they said that would be up to a lawyer to determine. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Quinn 6 News.